Right, so this is the arrival of the chassis on Friday. Can't remember the date. Here it comes. Move back for it. The 29th, I think it is, 29th of January. It's got four chassis on there and the top one's mine. And we're gonna unload it onto oh, hey, the trailer. <laughs> Brilliant. Perfect. I haven't done anything for about three months. I stopped before Christmas because it got really cold in the um, workshop and uh, pretty depressing. But um, I've started back on it again and I've got a whole bunch more bits, um, including the chassis, which is very exciting. Wanted one of those for years. Um, so it's finally arrived and I made another video of that earlier, which you've probably seen. So basically today I've been uh, preparing the chassis for painting because uh, I want to paint it black but there's a whole bunch of procedures to make that happen so I have to uh, deburr it first to so take all the spiky bits off um, which I've done and then I have to wash it in a mordant solution which means taking it outside which is a bit of a pain um, so I need some help with that I can find somebody to help me with that but then once that's done I need to jet wash it off and then um, uh, paint it with a etch primer and then an undercoat and then a chassis black. So I've got all that stuff. Hopefully I'll be getting onto that today or tomorrow. But today, just while I've got some time, I've started, I don't know if you can see it, but I've started on the uh, rear axle. Um, that had a couple of holes in the diff pan, which I tried to repair, which went incredibly badly. You can see that there terrible bit of welding there which actually went straight through the metal so that was absolutely pointless you can see there where it oh, I don't know if you can actually but where it actually just went through but anyway so that's that so I had to ditch that so I've ordered a new chassis uh, no, a new axle diff pan from the internet and that's on its way uh, but in preparation for that uh, what I've started to do is just sort of cut this cut that, that pan off and um, and just I'm grinding this back down so I've got a clear space or a flat surface at least to uh, to weld onto so that's the next job but again welding's not my strong point because I haven't really done much of it before so uh, it's uh, yeah we'll see how it turns out but um, that's that's the next step so once that's done I can paint this and I can assemble the the axle again because I've got all the gaskets I've got new brakes new brake drums new what else is new Oh, all new brakes, um, and uh, then I can paint it all and fit it back together. And then, once the axle's painted and I've got the new springs, which I haven't quite ordered yet, um, I can get on, on my way to making a rolling chassis, so putting it all back together, slowly but surely. Right, so I've just finished cleaning that up, where I've taken off the diff pan. Got it as flat as I could. 
seems all right. There's a little bit of a groove there still where the, where the two met. I don't quite know what that is, but anyway, I think that would do it. Um, I used a combination, well, I did it all really with the uh, angle grinder, but I used, I used like this cutting disc first of all, cutting disc to cut it off, just all the way around, and uh, the pan came off like that. And then I just used a slightly, slightly thicker grinder just to flatten it all off. And sort of every now and then checking how flat it was. I mean, it's, it's not that flat now, but, well, actually not that bad, but, um, so it just so it goes on flat when I put the new one on. And then I sort of cleaned it up with this, um, you know, this sort of uh, poly disc. It's like a buffing, well not a buffing tool, but it's a metal cleaner. Yeah, and that worked really well. Yeah, so now what I've got to do is got to wait for the, the new pan to come through the post and I can weld it on using my ancient welder. So I thought I'd just make a, a quick video about the Fairy freewheeling hub because when I started dismantling this axle I had no idea how to take it out. So it's quite an interesting method. Um, in Let me get rid of that first. In the hub there is a flathead screw. Let me just put that back in like that, which you have to carefully undo. And then in that hole there is, and I've taken it out already, but there's a plastic grommet like that. Imagine that inside the hole. And you have to pry that up with a screwdriver and then pull very gently, very gently while you're, I turn the hub. Oh, it's come off now. But while I turn the hub like that, I... Okay, well, fair enough. Um, let's put that there. Um, I turn the hub slightly, ever so slightly, and this is, is basically locked inside the hub like that this plastic thing and you have to pull it out through that hole like that and then the hub comes off as you just saw so this is the freewheeling hub and it's a video just so that I remember how it goes back together um, this comes out and then there are sort of some ears in there and they quite obviously attach into there so it sort of goes in like that and like that and I don't think I really need to take it apart any further because it's just got oil on it and I'm going to leave it like that um, but that's how it works anyway 